Okay, guys, listen up, please. Listen up. Really, really good job in game one. Love to see that. And we have a chance now to sweep the series, go and relax, get a day off, and look forward to the ALDS. Uh, but perhaps more than that, if we don't win today, it means either Alcantara or Loria have to go and decide in game three. None of us want that, do we? Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers. It is game two of the wildcard series. We, of course, won game one against the White Sox. And today it is Corbin Bernays for them up against Tyler Marley for us. And obviously it goes without saying we win today. Fantastic. We're through to the ALCS. No, ALDS. Uh, too many letters in there for me. Uh, if we lose, I mean, Laura is scheduled to go in game three. Now, he was good for us last year. He's not been good for us this year. So I'd almost go as far as to say if we lose today, then uh, it might be, <laughs> yeah, it might be curtains for the season. We really do need to win today. So let's go and have a look. Let's not waste any time and check out these lineups for game two. All right, and this is them. So Edwards leads us off at uh, second base. Garcia bats second at third. Uh, Green is the left fielder batting three. Meadows cleans up at DH. Uh, Torkelson, now I did talk about dropping him below Cabrera in the order. The reason I haven't done that in the past, and I realized that sort of when I went to set the lineup for this one, it's uh, just breaking up the a string of left-handed hitters with a right-handed hitter. So that's why Torkelson bats five. Uh, it'll be Cabrera batting six. Edmund at shortstop batting seven. Parker Meadows in center field batting eight. Trevino, the catcher, bats nine. Marley's on the mound for us. We're up against, as I said, Kervin Bernays for them. He has an 11-10 uh, record, an ERA of 3.35, a whip of 1.33. There is absolutely nothing between these two guys. The ERA is a 0 0.05 difference. The whip is a 0 0.01 difference. Uh, more strikeouts for Bernays, so, but left, but also more walks issued. They're both age 29. It's essentially, it's a dead heat. I'm not really sure how they've won that, but anyway, probably because they've got a lower ERA. I'm not sure. I don't even know how the game comes up with it, to be honest. All right, so here we go. Let's get this thing underway. It's uh, it's Robert leading off the uh, for them. He went one for five in game one. Marley, as I say, on the mound for us. He was third in wins with 15 in the American League. He has been sliced into right field. It drops in, and it's a leadoff single for the White Sox. All right, in comes Rodriguez now. He's moved up the order, I think. He went 0 for 4 in game 1. It's first pitch action. It's a ground ball. Is that going to be a double play? There's one. There is two. And that makes up for the leadoff hit. All right, Vaughn comes in now. He's moved up the order as well. Went 0 for 4 in game 1. Another first pitch swing. That's up the middle. And it will be a second hit of the leadoff inning, or the first inning. I don't think the first inning's ever called the leadoff inning, is it? <laughs> Eloy Jimenez, who was two for three in game one. It's a one-two pitch. Can Marley finish this? Yes, he can. All right. Let's go and have a bat. It's Edwards leading us off. He was 0 for 4 in game one. Hopefully, he's going to pick things up here. He's usually a pretty decent leadoff man for us. He batted 268 in the regular season. He's grounded that to first, and that will be one away. And his on-base percentage is a little bit better than that again. It's Garcia now, who was 1 for 5 in Game 1. A 2-1 pitch, and Garcia rips it through the right side of the infield. That'll be a one-out single for our third baseman. And it'll bring in Riley Green now, of course, the hero of Game 1 with the 10th inning home run. That's a wild pitch that'll get uh, Garcia over to second. And with one away, we've got a runner in, in uh, goal scoring position. That's what I was going to say there. In <laughs> scoring position. And he's going to score because Riley Green has ripped it down into right field again. Stays in, but it's an RBI double. And that is 1-0 to the Tigers. Meadows now, 1 for 4. He was in game 1. A 2-2 pitch. And he strikes out for 2 away. Torkelson now. Talk of dropping him down the order, Talk. Show us why you belong there. That's not the reason why you belong there. And that'll end the first. But we've taken a lead. It's 1-0. Marley will face Moncada, who was 1-4 for four in game one. And it's a 2-2 two -two pitch. It's a pop-up, and it should be a simple catch out there for Riley Green in left field. It is. And that's one away. Guriel now, who has uh, dropped down the order. He was 1-5 for five in game one. It's a 3-0 pitch. And it is... A four-pitch walk, which is disappointing. So runner aboard for Collis now, who is uh, one for three in game one. It's, uh, 
well, nothing really happened there in the end. So we've gone back for a full count now. Ken Marley sitting down. No, he can't. And it's going to drop in. And it's going to be a second base runner. Two on, one out for Blake Hunt, who was 0 for 3 in game one. A full count. Oh, we've walked and loaded the bases. Marley. Simmons now, who was 1 for 3. We Double play ball. A 2-1 pitch. Double play ball, please. No, it's Parker Meadows. Has he got the arm to stop the run scoring? He has. So that's what you get with a good defensive center fielder. So two away loaded bases. This is a massive at bat, isn't it? It's Robert, who is one for one today. It's an 0-1 pitch. It's, it's, it's not, is it? It is. It's a 370 foot grand slam. Marley has given up four runs and he put two of them on with walks. And we are 4-1 down. Rodriguez will come in now. He is 0-1 today. Ground ball to third base. But that, that hurts, doesn't it? And starting pitching, it's been our Achilles heel for most of the season. And it looks as though that's going to continue here in the postseason. Outside of DeGrom, there really isn't much going on for us. Cabrera, who was 2-4 for four in game one, he pops out for the first out of the bottom of the second. Edmund was 2-4 for four in game one as well. So 1 0 pitch on Tommy Edmund. Tommy Edmund straight back up the middle, but into the shift and out at first. This will bring up Parker Meadows. He went 2 for 4 in game 1 as well. It's another 2 1 pitch. Two out, no one on. Parker Meadows, that's well hit. Is it well hit enough? No, it's off the top of the wall. And Parker Meadows will look for three. And Parker Meadows dives in for a triple. So now the big question is can Trevino. Can he drive in a run? He was 0 for 3 in game 1. It's an 0-1 pitch. Trevino can't do it. And that ends the second. And we are still three runs to the bad. As Vaughan will come in now. 1 for 1 he is today. It's a 1-0 pitch. It's a goal. It gets past uh, Garcia at third. And it'll be a leadoff single again. Jimenez now who's 0 for 1 today. A 2-2 pitch. Jimenez goes 0 for 2. One away, still that man at first for Moncada, who is 0 for 1 today. It's another 2-2. Two, two. It's a ground ball. Is it a double play? We get... Oh, we're stuffing this up. Trevino throws it into center field. And with one away, we have runners at second and third. And Guriel at the plate. Guriel will add one, possibly two runs to that. Just the one. RBI single. So it's 5-1 now. And Holden Powell will come on. So that's actually not too bad there. I'd say that I'd say that Altman got rid of him at just the right time. So Holden Powell, who we saw an episode or so ago, has suddenly become a very, very good looking pitcher. But that's not really what we wanted him to do, as it's another run. It is six one now, and I mean we're already in the realms of writing this one up and just getting ready for game three. Powell rings up Hunt. That is two away now. And Simmons will come in. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a full count. Two out, two on. And it's a strikeout to end the third. But it's been a disaster. It is 6-1. And we need to start chipping away. Edwards, who is 0 for 5 in the postseason. It's a 3-0 pitch. Get yourself on base here, Xavier. He does, and he's quick. The good news is it's early in the game. We do have the opportunity just to chip away at it. Garcia, who's one for one today. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch. Garcia gets it through. Edwards, is he going to go for third? He is, and he's going to get there. So runners at the corners with no one out. And it's Riley Green, who is one for one with that RBI. And a 1-2 pitch. Green strikes out looking. And now Austin Meadows will come in. 0 for one he is today. Austin Meadows, it's... Is it deep enough to score Xavier Edwards? I think it is. So a sack fly for Meadows. It's 6-2. Two. two away with a runner at first for Torkelson, who's 0-1. They try and get him. They throw it away themselves, and the runner will go to second. All right, Tork. Let's put something on the grass in the outfield here, please. It's a full count. Torkelson grounds at the shortstop. So we pull one back. We're four runs down going into the fourth. Powell will face Robert, who is two for two with, of course, the Grand Slam last time up. Powell strikes him out with three pitches. Rodriguez now, who's 0 for two. A first pitch swing. A ground ball. Edmund has it over to first, two away. 
All right, Vaughan now, who is two for two today. Another 0-2 pitch. And Holden Powell is looking every bit as good as those uh, attributes would suggest he should be. Cabrera now comes in 0 for 1 today. It's a full count. Can he get himself on base? Another leadoff runner would be amazing. And he's done it. That looked actually uh, quite good as a pitch. I'm surprised he didn't uh, strike out there. That's why sometimes you don't swing the bat. Tommy Edmund now comes in. Another full count. Can he walk as well? No, he pops it up. Cabrera will go back to first and it'll be one away. All right. Parker Meadows, who's one for one today. What can he do? First pitch. Grounds it. Not a double play. Run, Parker. Oh, it's an infield hit. We'll take that. So that is runners at first and second with one away for Trevino. Anything but a double play, mate. Still looking for his first hit of the postseason. And has he got it there? He has. He's dropped it into right field. And it's going to be an RBI single for the catcher. 6-3. We are chipping away at it. We're not done chipping this inning yet. Xavier Edwards now, who is 0 for 1 today with a walk. 2 on, 1 out, an 0-1 pitch. Xavier Edwards, that's going to be a oh, it's an error. Is it an error or is it... Oh, uh, it's an infield hit. So loaded bases now for Garcia, who is 2 for 2. 1 away. Come on, Garcia. Oh, don't. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, he's beaten it. All right. So we still have loaded bases. No runners scored. And it's Riley Green now with a chance to uh, we'll get a grand slam to his name in the postseason. He's hit it not well enough. And we do indeed leave the bases loaded. We took away another run, though. How to face Jimenez, who is 0 for 2 today. It's a 0-1 pitch. It's a ground ball. Easy enough there for Xavier Edwards at second. And that is one away. It's another chitching, uh, chitching change. Another pitching change now. Garcia will face Moncada, who is 0 for 2 today. Garcia, who... I mean, he's got to be a contender if we are to get past this series to come in and start a game four, perhaps. I, I'm not trying to think that far ahead, but our starting pitching options we've seen here. And that is got dropped in front of Parker Meadows. I thought he had that comfortably. And it's a two-out double. But yeah, our starting pitching options after we get past the Grom are just not good. Collis comes in now. He is two for two today. And there's a strikeout that ends the top of the fifth. So still we are behind six to three. Let's see what Austin Meadows can do. He's 0 for 1 with the sack fly. It's a full count. Can he get himself on base? No, oh, he's not going to get there on that one, is he? And that's one away. It brings Spencer Torkelson up to bat. 0 for 2 he is today. It's an 0-2 pitch. He just can't stop striking out in the postseason. We're going to have to do something there, aren't we? I wonder if we bring a mayor in to play first base. Uh, Cabrera's hit, which seems silly. A 1-2 count, 2 out, no one on. So Tommy Edmund comes in now. He's 0 for 2 today. Tommy Edmund has sliced it away into left field. It is caught relatively comfortably, let's be honest. And we do not score. So it is still 6-3 going into the 6th. Hunt will face Garcia. Hunt is 0 for 1 today. And he's drawn a leadoff walk from Garcia there. Simmons now, who's 0 for 2. First pitch, ground ball. He was running, wasn't he? It was a hit and run. So runner was at second. Out at first. Robert comes in. Two for three he is today. It's a 2-2 two -two pitch. He has popped that up. It's caught by Edwards. Runner will go back to second. And it's two away from Rodriguez now, who is 0 for three. A 1-1. One -one. Rodriguez grounds it to the shortstop. That's out at first. And yeah, that uh, Tyler Marley Grand Slam he gave up is looking as though it's going to be a very, very difficult one to overcome, doesn't it? Meadows comes in. He is two for two. Is Meadows gone three for three? Parker Meadows is another one that looked surely foul. Well, anyway. Parker Meadows batting like uh, Austin Meadows in the postseason. Trevino, who is one for two. Can he sort of get, get the runner across for us? Oh, he's done better than that. He's put it down into the right field corner. And will that score Parker, Aust uh, Parker Austin? No, Parker Meadows. Trevino thinks better of going for third. It's an RBI double. It's six to four. We edge a little bit closer. Change of picture now. Aaron Bummer comes on. Let's hope it is a bit of a bummer. As Edwards comes in. He's a left-hander, which is not great for our lineup. Edwards strikes out. That's going to be one away. Garcia now, who is two for three. He's got the runner at second. He represents the tying run, but nothing's going to advance there except the number of outs. Two away with a runner at second now for Green. 
He's one for three. It's a 2-2 pitch. Come on, Riley. No, he strikes out. And we go to the seventh. 6-4 down. Garcia will continue to Vaughn, who's two for three. It's a 2-2 pitch. It's a strikeout for Garcia. That's one away. Eloy Jimenez now, who's 0 for three. It's another 2-2 pitch. And it's another strikeout for Ronnie Garcia. And that'll do it for him as Jason Foley will come onto the mound. Uh, he's going to face Moncada, who's 0 for 3. It's a 1-2 pitch. Can Foley start with a strikeout? Yes, he can. So we stretch. We're edging our way back into it. But there's still two runs to find in three inning. So it will be Austin Meadows to lead us off. A 2-2 pitch against the lefty. We really don't want him in this game. But Austin Meadows... The most unlikely of fielders the uh, here's to get an infield hit. Gets himself aboard, and Torkelson is the one guy that can hit a lefty. Full count, and he draws a walk. Two on with no one out. So the tying run is aboard. Cabrera, the go-ahead runs at the plate, and he's going to face Garrett Croque, who's already pitched this postseason, given up two earned runs in the area of 54. He lays down a bunt, does Cabrera. That's interesting. So he gets the runners to second and third. One away for Edmund, who is 0 for 3. Now, Edmund is shocking against a lefty. And he's... Oh, he's got it up the middle, and that might just tie the game. One comes across. No, Torkelson perhaps wisely stays at third. But it's 6-5. And it's Amaya coming in to pinch hit for... Who's he coming in for? Oh, Parker Meadows. It's really frustrating we've done that, because Parker Meadows is doing quite well. But Amaya is decent versus a lefty. But it's a 1-2 pitch here. And Amaya, oh, is it deep enough? Go back, talk. You might be able to score here and tie the game. He's going for it. Is he going to get there? Yes, he is. So Amaya comes off the bench. Sack fly ties the game. And Trevino now with two out and a runner at first. He's had a good day at the plate, has Trevino. And that will continue, will it? No, it's in foul territory and it's going to uh, end the seventh. But we have tied it. We chipped away at it just like we needed to. We've tied the game. Guriel will now face Folly. And let's hope, having got level, we don't go and give him back a lead here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, it's all right. Cabrera is there. It's one away. Colas is two for three. Who else thought that was leaving? It's a full count. Come on, Folly. It's a ground ball. Torkelson. You're right there, mate. Just put your foot on the base. He's paralyzed, apparently. He's got there. He's got temporary paralysis, and he couldn't put his foot on the base. So one away runner at first for Hunt, who is 0 for 1. It's a 2-2 pitch. It is up the middle, and it's going to drop in. Don't know who's playing center field just now. Penengo is coming to center field defensively. Oh, we're going to give this away, aren't we? So Vessia has come in. Folly has uh, not done particularly well. Simmons here with one on, no, one out, two on. He's 0 for 3. Vessia, they lay down a bunt. Can we get the... No, we just get one. All right, so with two away, we have runners at second and third. Arcia is coming to pinch hit. Yeah, he has. Has he... Yeah, he's not, he's not had that bat yet. Come on, Vessia. 2-1. It's popped up. It should be clocked. Two hands, please, Riley. So we leave two stranded, do they? And Edwards... Up against the lefty, another one that is just not good against the lefty. But he's been poor against the righty as well. And oh, he's hit that really well, but straight to third base. One away. Garcia now, who's two for four today. It's a first pitch swing. Luis Garcia has got it down for the other side, and it's easy. See, Torkelson, that's how you do it, mate. Just put your foot on the base. So with two out, no one on. It's Riley Green, who's one for four today. It's a one-two pitch. Come on, Riley. He's hit it. He's got it through. So a two-out single for Riley Green. Another change of pitcher, another lefty in Andrew Perez. It's like they know when are good versus lefties. It's Austin Meadows who's one for three. Meadows swings through a one-two pitch. And that'll take us to the ninth, and we are still tied at six. It'll be Will Klein, the closer, coming out now. He's going to face Rodriguez, who is 0 for four today. It's a two-two pitch. Kenny sitting down. It's a ground ball. And it is out at first. Garcia with a good play. Vaughn will come in. He is two for four today. It's a one-two pitch. 
It's, oh, that's really well hit into the gap in left center field. And that's going to be at least a double. We get it in relatively quickly, but a one out double. Top of the ninth and the go ahead run is at second with one away. Eloy Jimenez, who's 0 for 4, they walk him, perhaps sensible. He did have, uh, well, I think he led the league in home runs this year. It brings Adam Engel to the plate now, his first at bat in the series. He strikes out, that's two away. And Guriel now, who is two for three today. It's a first pitch swing. It's a ground ball. It should be easy enough at second. He could have, another one, it could have just touched the base, but that's fine. Bottom of the ninth, tied at six. This is what you dream of, Torkelson. Come on, mate. It's a first pitch swing. Spencer Torkelson does the opposite of hit a home run and is out at first. Brings Cabrera to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today. How is he 0 for 1 in the bottom of the ninth? Anyway. It's a 1-1 a one, one pitch. Cabrera. Oh, he beats it. It was in that awkward zone, and the pitcher couldn't make the play. So we have the winning run aboard. It is Tommy Edmund to the plate. He's 1 for 4. And 0-2. Tommy Edmund. Grass going to be a double play. And for the second game in a row, we are going into the 10th. Klein to face Collis, who is three for four today. You've had your hits, mate. Stop being selfish. It's a full count. Oh, no. And the top of the 10th starts with a solo home run. 368 feet. And Klein has blown the save. And we go straight off. Diego Castillo comes on to face Hunt. Hunt is one for two today. It's an 0-2 pitch. Of course, Castillo, one of the guys that uh, we've got a question mark whether we renew him at the end of this season. And he gives up a single as well. Simmons now, who's 0 for three, comes in. It's a 1-2 pitch. A double play would be nice. We'll accept a strikeout, though. One away. Arcia comes in. He's 0 for one today. It's a 3-1. It's a ground ball. That could be a double play. No, it's just one. Runner at second two away Jose Rodriguez who is 0 for 5 at the plate it's a 1-1 pitch it should be caught out there by Penengo it is and we need a run in the bottom of the 10th or well, this is going to a deciding game three Penengo will bat he is 0 for 1 so far this postseason it's an 0-2 count this isn't going to end well Penengo at least gets some bat on it but it'll be caught in left field that's one away Trevino now, who is two for four today. Must have been tempting to pinch hit him, though he is doing quite well. But that is launched up, and we are down to our final out. We did so well to come back from 6 nothing down, but unless Xavier Edwards, who's one for four, can get himself on base. It's an 0-2 pitch. We're down to our final strike. And it's going to be a game three with one of our Muppets on the mound. So there we go. We are tied at one. Cleveland, you may not be able to see behind my head, but they have swept the Astros. So they're moving on to face the A's. And, well, we've got we've got decisions to make now. We, All right, so who do we go with here in game three? If we go and have a look at pitches, if we go and have a look at home records, there's probably two guys we're looking at here. It's between Laura and between Alcantara. Alcantara should be ready to go, but Laura looks like he maybe just slightly has the better record at home. Um, I mean, but they're both essentially rubbish, aren't they? So, yeah, I think we maybe need to add a pitch count. That might be something worth doing. Uh, say, you know, 80-odd pitches. If they're going any more than that, then things need to change anyway uh and in terms of the lineup it does beg the question now let's see if we can get the postseason numbers up here so there we go with the postseason numbers Torkelson has he done enough to stay in the lineup he's got a war of 3.4 how's he have a war of 3.4 maybe he's what, that's just postseason is that career postseason I don't understand how he's got a war of 3.4 the other question was do we stick a mayor at first base I mean, he's a very good first baseman. He's a very good second baseman. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he set the world on fire either, but do we need to make a change at first base? 
Um, if you have any questions, I have any questions. If you have any thoughts, let me know. If you have any questions, don't ask me. I don't know the answers. <laughs> and I will see you next time. It'll be a game three, a deciding game three. And who else has a horrible feeling that our season's going to end in the wildcard series again? Take care.